Well, they have incredible political power. They control more than a trillion American dollars and potentially the future of Social Security, Medicare, and the U.S. military. Congress's 12-person so-called Super Committee has begun meeting in Washington. Scott McFarland working that story for us tonight and says there's new concern this committee, including one local leader, are getting way too cozy with deep-pocketed people. Scott? Yeah, the Super Committee's been meeting all week here on Capitol Hill trying to find $1.6 trillion in savings from the U.S. budget. But at the same time, some of the members have also been going across the street to have ritzy fundraisers with deep-pocketed D.C. lobbyists. Which means special interest groups willing to spend a couple thousand for a meal or drinks at a political fundraiser get better access to this super committee than we do. The 12 person committee, six Republicans, six Democrats, have power over things very important to us our health care, our military, Social Security. If you had $1,000 to spend on breakfast at this high end Capitol Hill bistro, you could have had one on one time with this member, Pennsylvania Senator Pat Toomey. For up to $2,000, you could have had dinner at this seafood restaurant with this Republican Super Committee member from Ohio. Others will stage golf outings, group trips to Major League Baseball games. The co chair of the Super Committee reportedly had a fundraising lunch in Seattle that occurred hours after she was named to the Super Committee. I can't afford $2,500 to dine with them. Um, but those who can afford um, will help Congress raise money and will keep Washington doing business as usual. Reports say organizers of a fundraiser for one of the six Democrats on the panel touted the fact the congressman was on the Super Committee to attract big donors. We called and emailed Super Committee members for reaction. Local Senator Pat Toomey said media reports indicate that most members in committee are continuing with fundraising efforts, and the White House has called the request for a cessation to stop fundraising silly. It's worth mentioning, one Senate staffer told me a lot of these fundraisers we mentioned were scheduled long before the super committee formed, and that senators involved were simply keeping previous commitments. What will be interesting to see is how many new fundraisers are scheduled for later this fall if the super committee is still meeting. Live on Capitol Hill, Scott McFarland, WJAC-TV News.